So today I'm going to cut down the cover crop here in my raised bed and mix it into the topsoil. So I'm going to show you how I am going to do that. So I'm going to take these shears or you even can take some scissors and I'm just going to cut it. So, you know, three inches or so off, just some pieces. Now the smaller the pieces you make it, the faster it is going to um, decompose and break down into the soil. And since it's in a raised bed, I'm just choosing, you know, to cut it by hand. If you got a bed where maybe you could get, you know, some kind of mower in there, you can just get a mower. So I'm just gonna chop away. And, you know, the smaller the pieces you do it, the faster it is gonna break down. And I just might pile it up so I can tell how much I have cut. And just take your time doing it. You can wear some gloves just to make sure you don't get your fingers. Another way to do is to hack at it with a shovel. Now when I was at the farm in the garden, this is how we always did it. And we did a lot of hacking with the shovels because we had a lot of volunteers and lots of shovels. So it was just easier to get a bunch of people kind of lined up and hack away. So once you have cut down all the plants, all the green matter, then you can go back in with your shovel and I'm just kind of loosening the dirt. And then I'll go in there and just kind of break it up with my hand. You know, I'm only really moving around the top three, four inches, just to kind of incorporate all this green matter into the dirt. And, you know, I'll probably do this by hand just because, see, look at this nice fat worm. Um, just because I don't have that much to do. And I really like to get my hands in there. You can fork it, you can take the shovel and really just, you know, loosen it up and then kind of hack at it a little bit more. You don't really want to turn the soil. You just want to incorporate it in the you know, three to four inches in there. And then I'll just carry on and do this. I'll pop. I wanted to get down here and show you what's going on here. So I cut everything down and then I have mixed everything. And really what I did was come in here and I just kind of broke up the roots. If you can see here, this is a veg plant and you see the little um, nodes there, these little bumps, they are what holds the nitrogen. So when you bring them, mix it into the soil, it's a way to add 
um, nitrogen and that's why we plant it. There's some more worms and you can see the cardboard so I use the cardboard like mulch and I'll mix it up in here and the worms will just love it but the the cover crop here is going to give like a, a green it's going to add green material and nitrogen to the soil and I planted it because it was see so look at this nice big worm I planted the cover crop here in this bed because this was the last one and it was kind of late in the season to grow any crops so I didn't want to leave the soil just kind of barren so I put the cover crop in there and now I'll just flatten it all out here this is the bed it's all been cut down and mixed in and you know I really just enjoy getting my hands in there and feeling the soil and I know it's really mixed in and everything's broken into pieces and I will now cover it with um, some black plastic that I had and um, cover it for you know about four weeks and the plastic will help heat up, heat up the soil and it will um, help everything kind of decompose a little quicker and if there's any weeds um, kill off the weeds you can see that the soil is nice and moist so that's another thing with the cover crop it really holds in the moisture so it hasn't rained in like a week and you can see that the it's nice and moist well i hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe i will have more quick and easy videos and I'm excited for spring. There'll be lots going on here in this garden come spring. Thank you very much.